was my beat. But I got cold like a heat. Okay, hold on. Mm. Welcome back to my channel. Woo! So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Let's just get started. Okay. If you've already read the title, you already know what we're doing here today. But before we get into the tea, honey, first, hold on, let me put my little, okay. Real quick, on a serious note, before we get into the tea, I just want to say I'm changing names and any other information that can be used to figure out who these people are that I'm spilling tea on. A lot of time has passed, none of these people are in my life anymore. So it's gonna be really hard for you people to figure out who it is, but if you know, you know. And if you figure it out, don't be down in the comments being shady, honey. Don't be shady, don't be shady, be a lady, honey, all right? The point of the series is just for us to have fun and kind of take our mind off of all of just the craziness that's going on in the world. So do not take these stories to heart. Do not make it more than what it is. It's just it's just us being good Judys and us having a little round table. Oh, I'm not one to gossip. This really isn't, you know, this isn't a drama channel, honey okay but i figure it'll be fun i had some requests to spill some tea so let's just have some fun grab your snacks grab your juice your tea your coffee your beer your wine whatever we don't judge around here so it's just us judies okay it's just us so let's just let's get into the tea let me set the scene for you and we're going to talk a little bit about my college days now there's a lot of stories uh and a lot of things that happened before and after this so if you want that tea and you enjoy this story please let me know in the comment section down below okay i'm rambling you're like no just get on with the tea okay 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 okay, okay. so y'all ready okay so there's what happened back when i was in college i had uh, a lot of roommates as most of us do you hardly ever start and finish with the same roommates in college also we had apartments usually there were three or four people in an apartment versus a dorm where you just kind of eat most of the time typically a dorm you share it with two people i was having some issues with the first group of gals that i live with great gals just personalities clashing so i move in with some other gals and right away the first day that i moved in i knew it was probably gonna be a little bit of adjustment because the first day that i moved in i kid you not these people these two young ladies were running around in their underwear with other college kids in their underwear playing hide and go seek in the dark i can't make this up i can't make this up so i'm like oh my gosh talk about jumping from the skillet to the frying pan <sighs> The next day, I had a little talk with them, blah, blah, blah. That's also another story, not the point of this. So let's move right along. We had a little talk. We were all on the same page. Another interesting thing about these two Judys is that they had an in common love interest. Okay, so I need to give these people names. We can have one called Casey, this is roommate number one, and roommate number two, we can call her Abigail. So we have Casey and we have Abigail, okay? And Casey and Abigail had a mutual love interest that they claimed was just a friend and we will call him Robert Roberts okay we will call him Robert so we have Casey we have Abigail we have Robert darling okay so keep up okay I noticed that both of them both Casey and Abigail equally flirted heavily with Robert and I none of my business none of my business it was a mere observation both young ladies claim oh he's just a friend I don't like him blah 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 but what I saw was two girls throwing themselves at one guy competing for his attention and I'm like girls ladies what are we what are we doing what are we doing like if he's your friend that's your friend but it was kind of an unspoken competition, I guess one could say, between these two young ladies. Abigail ended up getting really close to Robert. Casey didn't take too kindly to that. Casey really went out of her way to really throw herself at Robert. What? Chemistry doesn't lie. The more the chemistry, the connection, lied between Robert and Abigail. Fast forward, these two over here still spend a lot of time with each other. Casey over here is getting a little bit bitter. Now we introduce a new element. There's another boy who comes into the picture. So here I am thinking, okay, Robert and Abigail are going to hit it off. 
the second boy comes into the picture. We will call him Sean. Okay, so Sean comes in the picture and I, I'm just gonna spill the tea. I walked, I walked in on Abigail and Sean, okay, dare I say. I knew that Abigail was also messing around with Robert. Dare I say, dare I say, did I see anything like explicit? No, but you know when you walked in on something, you know. We grown, we grown, we grown, we good Judy's, we good Judy's. So I'm just saying that I know, and no, no shade to her, hey, you know, woo, 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 get how you live. I also know that Robert got around. So I guess Abigail and Robert had an understanding because Abigail was with Sean and Robert was with half the girls in the city. And no shade to him either, you know, get it how you live, get it how you live. Okay, so let's move on. All of a sudden, I notice a change in, in Abigail's behavior. She's sleeping a lot. She, her eating patterns have changed. She's missing some classes. Suddenly, Robert comes to show up looking for her and she's telling me to tell him she's not home. And he's like, I haven't talked to Abigail in a few days. What's going on? Meanwhile, let's not forget about Casey over here. Bitter the house, darling. Bitter the house. Jealous of Abigail and Robert. I kind of put the two together and I'm like, I think Abigail might be tight as a tick. I was not going to ask. Abigail was none of my business. All I know is behavior changed. And I kind of put the two together. Just as I suspected, she ended up being with child, you guys. She was with child. Like I said, Abigail messed around with Robert and with Sean. And I know this for a fact. Abigail eventually opened up to me. I think I was my, may have been the first person she told. She said, so now I'm with child. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. You know, I, wow. You, you know, it was... You know how that goes, right? I'm wondering, I'm like, okay, she's with the child. Oh my gosh, who's the father? Who's the, who's that? I'm thinking, I, I dare not ask. But she volunteered the information and she says, Well, Robert is the father. Okay. And look, who am I to say that he wasn't? What my concern was, how do you know for sure? Y'all get what you, you know what I'm saying? You was... Uh, Fast forward, she ends up telling Robert that she's with the child uh, and Robert accepts the responsibility. So I don't know if to this day, if Robert knows that there was a, another possibility. I don't know, maybe he knew and he didn't care or maybe she never mentioned it. Not my business, I didn't bring it up. It wasn't my business, I wasn't close to either one of them to get in it. I know y'all was probably sitting now. You should have told, I shouldn't have told him, okay? Look, I know it wasn't none of my business. It was grown people. Meanwhile, Casey, still very bitter, still has been throwing herself at Robert, but did not know about what was going on with Robert and Abigail over here. So, considering the fact she was still throwing herself at him because as far as everyone else knew, they were just friends. It finally came a time where Abigail finally let Casey know what was going on. And let me tell you, I would be lying if I say I didn't enjoy it. Because Casey had a habit of trying to take other people's man. And even though they were officially weren't together, you knew them people had a connection. So I could not wait. I couldn't wait, y'all. I couldn't wait for her to find it out. And it was, it was wonderful. Back off, leave them be. So I remember coming home from a fabulous party with Casey. And I remember that before we went out, Casey was really heavily trying to get Abigail to go out with us, but she couldn't because most, you know, she was being responsible. She was, she was with child, honey. She couldn't be out there in those streets. Also, side note, when we went out, Casey and I, Robert was there, okay? Robert was there and guess who was dancing with each other? Robert and Casey were dancing with each other. And yes, Robert knew that Abigail was at home pregnant with his child, but what were they doing? <laughs> okay, you can imagine. Okay, so I'm like, oh my god, it's tea, it's tea, it's tea. So anyway, so we go home. We're all sitting around the kitchen table, right? So it's my boyfriend, it's Casey, Abigail. We're all chit chatting. Casey just could not let it go. She's like, well, Abigail, why didn't you want to go out with us? And you know, what what is the problem? Why didn't you want to go? I knew. I almost went and made some popcorn. I knew what was coming. So Abigail, you know, just kind of sits back and, cause she knows she's about to spill the tea. In other words, she's about to say, I won, right? Which, 
<sighs> whatever. Abigail looks at Casey and she's like, oh, well, I'm pregnant. And Casey was, oh, 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 oh. And she's, she goes, Chanel, you don't seem shocked. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, she already told me. Because I'm a friend, right? Anyways, beside the point. So then Casey says, um, would I be speaking out of turn if I ask who the father is? And then Abigail goes, When I say you could have bought Casey for two cents, considering the fact she was just dancing all up on Robert, right? All, all up in the, you know what I'm saying? And then to come home and find out she's with a child by Robert? Oh. It was, it was very juicy, it was very interesting tea. Robert and Abigail ended up together. They were engaged for a while. Don't know if they ever actually got married, but they were together for a while and they ended up having another kid together. Uh, they are not together anymore. Is it because he found out that that wasn't his? Was it because of other reasons? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Now, I will say, the second one is, I'm sure, you know, it's theirs. But that first one, I just will say Sean and Robert look very different and the first child looks more like it could have been Sean's. But you didn't hear it from me. You didn't hear it from me. I'm not saying that that child is not that man. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't have stepped up. You know, maybe he knew. And he, I don't know. I'm just spilling the tea, y'all. Don't, I don't know. Anyways, that's the tea on that. If you want, more, if you have more questions, if you want to follow up on any of these people, if you're wondering, yes, Casey did continue to throw herself at Robert even after all was said and done. So, I have more tea with all of that. If you want to know, let me know. This is going to conclude the first episode of the College Tea Sunday series. I have a whole lot more tea. It only gets juicier from here. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Anyways, thanks for coming and listening to my tea. Now look, we good Judy's here. Okay? We good Judy's. So, you know, don't be messy down there. This is all for good fun. Okay? If you know who I'm talking about or if you know I'm talking about you, just don't say nothing, because if you know who you are, the 40 people that watch this channel probably don't know who you are, so if you don't say anything, nobody can figure it out. I think I've ran my mouth enough for the day, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, also, I did a podcast today with little Edward, so go ahead and check that out, because we spilled some more tea on there about a lot of different things. So, uh... I'll put the link down in the description below. All right, so bye. You know, I don't need to. Just cause I ain't dropping names, don't mean I'm sneak dissing.